you've ever been told to stop talking in class. Do you remember that feeling of injustice at having to cut short your conversations just to sit there silently listening to your teacher ramble on? Oh, the injustice. Now, what if I told you that talking is actually one of the most powerful ways to learn? That, according to the research, when students are given the opportunity to dialogue in class, their understanding and reasoning skills soar. And that's why in my classroom, students are rarely silenced. But for some reason, the value of talk has been forgotten when it comes to how we teach writing in high school. Don't blame teachers, though. Talk more, to write better, it's seemingly counterintuitive, don't you think? The thing is, though, right now, secondary school writing is in a state of national crisis and thus warrants our immediate attention. Domestically, writing is the one area of NAPA with a statistically significant decline, particularly between years five and nine. Globally, the data is equally concerning as many adolescents fail to meet the minimum literacy standards. Given that writing is a crucial skill in our daily lives, how we approach its instruction is in need of some serious reimagining, and I am here to do just that. I have designed a pilot professional development program that is transforming teachers' attitudes and classroom practices regarding writing. In contrast to the conventional teacher-dictated approach, my project is built around the key role that student conversation and critical thinking play in writing. Here I bring to bear the game-changing power of collaborative reasoning on literacy learning. By collaborative reasoning, I mean the shared use of student talk to critically analyze and logically evaluate their claims and decisions when writing, a teaching method which no other model to date has meaningfully considered. Thus far, my preliminary findings show marked improvement not only in students' writing communication, but in their critical thinking, self-reflection, and teamwork abilities as well, a highly transferable skill set for the 21st century. In addition, teachers can now more easily identify and respond to the literacy needs of their classes due to the increase in student engagement across all stages of the writing process. As a result, an adolescent's writing journey in school is no longer characterized by silence or deficiency, as they now have a shared language and a reliable means through which to improve their writing. These findings are significant as they indicate that my approach is a viable one, and if applied more generally, has the potential to break the downward trend in secondary school writing while simultaneously preparing students to communicate more effectively in their real world. These, with these outcomes in mind, my hope is that more student talk today will allow young people to have a more empowered and literate tomorrow. Now, raise your hand if you think we should encourage students to talk more. 